Hello and welcome to your algebra class for the quarter online. Uh, this video is just kind of introduce you to what you're going to expect and hopefully show you where to find key things. The first key thing I want you to find is the course syllabus. Download that, read every single word. You are responsible for all the course policies that are found in there, so make sure you do that. Um, there's also a couple links over here that you can check out. One nice one is the textbook download. If you want to just download and print or whatever the textbook, you can do that at this link. That's free, or you can buy it in the bookstore. Um, it turns out that if you print it, it ends up costing more in printing costs than just buying it in the bookstore. So whatever you'd like to do. Um, another nice place is the online homework. You're going to spend a lot of time there. We're going to want to be very familiar with that. You can either get there through this link or through the tab at the top. The tab at the top puts the online homework system inside the angel frame. However, my suggestion is if you just click the online homework, it opens up in a new page and you can bookmark this so you don't have to go through Angel every single time. First time you're here, if you scroll down, you'll see register as a new student. Click that and fill in all the course information. Down here is the course ID and enrollment key. You get that information off the syllabus, so download it and read it. You'll find the course ID and enrollment key for the five units. You only need to sign up. Well, ultimately, you need to sign up for all five units, but for now, you can just sign up for the first unit. After you've filled out that page, you should be able to log in with your login name and password that you picked. I suggest force image base display um, for the accessibility. Um, if you want to play with those options, though, you can and look at some downloads. Once you log in, you can see some courses that you're taking. Uh, clicking the bottom center button is how you can sign up for all the other sections or the other units by just typing in the course ID and enrollment key and hitting sign up to see the course show up here. Let's go into module A for 95 just to take a look at what's in here. Uh, you're going to spend a lot of time in this site. If we go into the first block here, each block is one topic, order of operations starts off with simple problems and what that will do is take us to a YouTube video and this YouTube video goes with the lab notebook that you've purchased. Now this lab notebook um, has an introduction part at the top and then two examples that are worked out in the video. The video assumes you've looked at the page before and are ready to work through the problems with the video, so make sure you take a glance at them, some of the story problems especially, read them before you start the video so you're ready to work through with the book. Then there's two spots at the bottom marked Practice A and Practice B. Let me show you what that's about back on that video. Below that video, you'll see there's a math problem. This is where you show that you understand what the video is about before we move on to the next topic. Uh, this one turns out to be 18, and so when I hit the submit button, it gives me a green line, 10 out of 10, I got that one correct, and I'm ready to move on to question 2. And it gives me another problem. Now I can try and answer that other problem, hit submit, oh, that was wrong. When I get it wrong, I have a choice to reattempt it to earn my points back, or I can try a similar question to get my points back where they completely change it. My suggestion is to reattempt the last question, figure out what you did wrong. Maybe we think it might be 15. Nope, it's still wrong. So we might reattempt it a third time. And it turns out that once you attempt the problem three times, it's going to tell you what the correct answer should have been. And now you can try a similar question in order to get your problem get your points back. Another nice link on here is if I just can't figure out how to do this, down at the bottom it says message my instructor about this question. Clicking message my instructor about this question will copy the problem into an email that you're ready to send to me, the instructor. Give me as much information about the work as possible and then hit submit. Each page in your workbook corresponds with one video and then finally at the end of a set of videos is a homework assignment and this is going to be 15 problems mixed up where you get a chance to show me you really understand this objective. Welcome to the course. Let me know if you have any other questions by email and I'm looking forward to a great quarter.